Good morning. So today we are recreating this iconic video. So she gave herself a budget of like $27. Like that's how much everything costed. Costed? Cost. Anyways, that was a really long time ago. So we're going to round it up to 30 and we're going to give ourselves $60 to spend, not including the mirror because the mirror itself was $62. But I did get this cute mirror from Walmart. Do not look at the roof of my car. It's dirty. Um, so we're headed into Lowe's to get the marble flooring and the scissors and all that kind of stuff. And I have a special helper today. Okay, we're finally home. Don't look at the spot on my shirt. I don't know what it's from. I got scissors. So really heavy duty. They're like actually really heavy. I got a poster board and I got the tiles. So in total, um, these were about 60 for a pack of 18 or maybe they were like 50. The scissors were I think 17 and the poster board was five. So I definitely went a little over budget, but to be fair, these are different. Um, then the ones that Amber uses in her video, she just uses the little square ones. The ones that they had at the Lowe's that I went to were just not as cute. So I got these little rectangle ones. So what I'm thinking is I'm gonna turn this little area in my kitchen, it's supposed to be a dining room, but you can clearly see how small it is. I think this is what I'm going to try to turn into this little marble thing. But it's gonna take a lot of freaking cleaning. So let's get started. I kind of had to rearrange once I got everything set up because the apartment is just not that cute and I didn't want any of it to show in the mirror. So let me show you what the final result. So I ended up just moving all of the tile over to this little corner. It does kind of overlap right here, but you can't tell in the mirror, which is great. And then this is my mirror. I got this from Walmart. Yes, it's sitting against my stove. Mind your own business. And then I just hung these cute little vines. This I literally spent like half an hour trying to clean and that's as good as it's gonna get. Um, hopefully I can just edit out photos. But this is it. So you can't even tell that this is only a corner of my dining room. So all in all, I would say I probably spent about 70 for the tile, the poster board and the scissors. This was 62, but to get a cute little like photo area for under $200 in a tiny, tiny apartment, I'm pretty impressed. Mm -hmm. 